Hello Gator Scientist! This lesson is about classification and using a dichotomous key. Those are two really confusing words, I'm sure. Classification's pretty easy. Classification just means I've got blue shoes, you've got red shoes. My eyes are green, your eyes are brown. My hair is yellow, your hair is red. Everyone's been classifying since they were just old enough to talk. Even prior to being able to talk, you would look at your M&Ms and you'd put all the green ones with green, all the red with red, all the yellow with yellow. I know who you are. I saw you doing it one day. I know it was you and so do you. So, basically classification is something you've been doing since you were little. But scientists take classification to the next level. Classification of animals, for in instance, since that's what we're studying, is a way to put them into the groups that they share the same traits, how they relate to each other. This was all started by a scientist named Linnaeus, L-I-N-N-A-E-U-S. You might want to just write that down somewhere because the system using Linnaeus, the Linnaeus classic system, is going to be around for a while. They are starting to develop a new one and I see that in the future, but for right now you guys need to just learn about the classic Linnaeus system and since I said he is the man that developed it, it's the reason why we always say kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. And we have a little chant that does that. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. What? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. What? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. What? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And we learned that uh, King Philip came over for great spaghetti. King Philip came over for great spaghetti. And let's just look at this chick this uh, eastern chipmunk and the classification for it. Going past the domain and then just into kingdom, the kingdom is the animalia or animal kingdom. Phylum chordata, it has a backbone. The class is mammalia, it's a mammal, it has a backbone and it nurses its young. The order is rodentia, which it's a rodent, has a backbone, nurses its young, has long sharp front teeth. The family, it has a backbone, nurses its young, long, sharp front teeth, and a bushy tail. The genus has a backbone, nurses young, long, sharp front teeth, bushy tail, climbs trees. And then the species, backbone, nurses young, long, sharp front teeth, bushy tail, climbs trees, and has stripes. And that would be its classification. So, this is a dichotomous key. You take one picture at a time for one type of animal that you're wanting to identify or anything that you want to identify. So for instance, let's pretend we didn't know what this was. We're going to start with question number one. And dichotomous key, di, means two. So dichotomous means two choices. Choice uh, For question one, number one, you have two choices. We're looking at the picture and saying, do you have a backbone? Does this animal have a backbone? If it's yes, then we go to number three. If it's no, you're an insect. Wait for number two. So this does not have a backbone, so we go to number two. Do you change or have metamorphosis from a caterpillar to an adult form? If yes, then you're a butterfly. So it is yes and we would write butterfly on the line. And now we're done with that object or with that animal. And we move to the next one. Now pretend you didn't know what this animal was. Number one, do you have uh, a backbone? Yes or no? If you think that it does have a backbone, we go to number three. And we know that this does because it's a frog. It's definitely not an insect. but we know it's a frog, but we don't really want to pretend we know that yet. So we're going to jump to number three. Do you have gills and scales? If it's yes, you're a fish. If it's no, we've got to go to number four. Do you lay eggs? If it's yes, go to number five. If it's no, we go to number ten. Well, we know that frogs lay eggs, so we go to f five. Does this, uh, do you have feathers? If it's yes, you're a bird. If it's no, go to number six. 
we'll have to go to number six. Do you lay eggs in the water? If it's yes, wait for number seven or go to number seven. If it's no, go to number eight. Do we egg lay, egg, lay eggs in the water? Yes, we do. So do you live on land but come back to the water to lay your eggs? Yes or no? If it's no, then you're a pickerel frog. And that's what we would say then. And so you would do that for each of these. Each individ individual animal is identified, and that is how you use a dichotomous key. So just in, uh, in conclusion, dichotomous keys are Die means two, dichotomous means two choices, you're answering questions, it's either going to be a yes no answer, and you are going to follow through the traits. They're a lot of fun, and I hope that you're able to use them effectively. Thank you.